Some people are already calling it that. The FAA approved the name change back in June. Right now, the airport is working with the senators people to come up with a celebration date uh, for a big celebration of this name change. But the process is already well underway. The first thing to go, signs behind me just like this one, but say McCarran International that are outside of the airport. Again, they are going to be the first thing taken down. We have had to communicate the name change with literally hundreds of stakeholders. Rosemary Vissiliatis, Department of Aviation Director, giving a presentation on the progress of the renaming project to Clark County Commissioners. We know that the Senator's family and friends are very anxious to complete this name change project as you are. Private funding needed to start the project. $4.2 million was received October 13th. Signs around the outside of the airport are being changed out first, then curbside at arrivals and departures, then inside the airport. According to the presentation, designers are now working on renderings for the new signage to be revealed with a renaming celebration with Senator Reid, who airport officials say shaped this airport into what it is today, securing funding for significant expansion. To me, um, being at the airport for a very long time, he was my number one call when in need, and he always answered. Last week, the Aviation Department met with Public Works to go over changing street signs around the airport, but it's not just physical signs. Virtual names must also be changed. So we did look into that, and there are some of the sites that we can change immediately that are under our control. Some we have to request from the company, so such as Facebook, Google. The airport's new website will be harryreedairport.com. Staff in the process of building it. On their websites of some airlines, you will see that it has been changed. FlightAware.com is one of those websites already using the name Harry Reid International Airport. Inside the airport, there will be a display to commemorate Reid's public service, including this pin from when he ran for mayor of Las Vegas. We hope to have a lot of fun of getting his very rich history um, displayed in the airport. Additional funding is still needed to complete all aspects of the name change. We're not done yet. We do need another $3 million of private donation to keep this going. And among the thousands of changes that still need to be made, facades will be put over two monuments. That is what the county is calling them outside of the airport, including this one at Tropicana in Paradise. So when can you start calling it Harry Reid International Airport? Again, right now the county is working with Senator Reid and his team to come up with a specific date for a formal celebration. Reporting live outside the airport tonight, Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.